I currently keep Fedora Linux on two laptops. A laptop that's made by Asus and a laptop that's made by HP. And this allows me to do certain things on one laptop and test it on the other. And so this Fedora 37 uh, release just came out a few days ago and I've been planning all week to uh, put it on the laptops. And so I am uh, putting it on uh, this laptop and in the process erase everything that's already on the laptop. I've backed up the data and I am ready to go. And so I have booted into Fedora Linux 37 from a USB flash drive which will allow me to install it on to this laptop. Okay, and so um, I have one of those flash drives that can that has both a USB C side and a USB Type A side, and so I'm using the USB Type C side to get a better transfer rate. And so I'm in the menu now to launch the install for Fedora 37 uh, using the USB flash drive, and this is a live environment. So if I were to connect to Wi-Fi. I could use Fedora 37 um, having boot off of this flash drive with no problem. But what I want to do now is install Fedora 37. And so the uh, menu that I'm looking for is the one that's going to allow me to uh, first choose the language. And so here I'm going to use the defaults uh, which are appropriate for my situation. And then I'm going to uh, look into changing both the time zone and the way the disk is partitioned. So something I'm going to do a little different here than I've done um, in the past is I'm going to do the automatic partitioning and so I checked the option to clear away the existing space and so I go and I choose delete all and then I choose the reclaim uh, space button and then I need to uh, make sure my time zone matches up uh, with what I got going on and so um, once that's done then I'm going to uh, choose to um, run the install and this install does take a good bit of time um, I didn't time it this time but I think it may have gone about 10 possibly 15 minutes if you were to somehow zoom in on the video, you could see the time at the uh, top of the screen that shows what, what length of time it took to install it. And so I fast forward through all of that so that we can get to the point where uh, we can reboot the computer and boot into Fedora 37 installed directly on the computer. This install process, by the way, is pretty much the same as it was when I last showed a video about it in 2019. So if you look at my 2019 video, which is the first video I've published on this channel, it will go into detail about how to install Fedora on a laptop, this same laptop actually so this show that shows how old this laptop is how to install fedora on a laptop um, that may already have windows on it and so that that video is a lot more detailed um, so there are usually applications that come with fedora that i don't want and boxes is one of them and so i'm going to open up the details on this program and i'm going to remove it that does take a fair bit of time on this computer uh, given the age of this computer uh, it is running an intel core i7 it's the u series right eighth generation and it does show its age a little bit but it's not doing too bad it's actually running fairly well and there are no optimizations that have been done here so uh, the speed and responsiveness that you see um, owe, is owed entirely to the software developers who put the Linux kernel together and put Fedora together. 
And here I'm opening LibreOffice Writer, which allows um, us to write documents and type documents, right? And of course, Firefox is pre-installed, so that um, you know browsing the web that way is pretty straightforward. And so, with that, um, I'm going to shut this off, shut this down, and enjoy Fedora 37 for the next several months.